um, a situation went on this weekend where I came in the club and I was a whole lot more uh, different than I usually be. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it was because of a personal situation that I ain't gonna speak on. You know what I'm saying? But what went on at the club made the uh, made the situation worse. You know what I'm saying? Um, to all the promoters, to all y'all y'all opening acts, the people that y'all want to open up, man. If y'all can respect me and respect my situation, do that shit before I come to the club. Because when I come to the club, I'm trying to be in not that motherfucker, homie. I'm on federal probation, homie. And I know a lot of niggas might not give a fuck because they ain't in my shoes. They ain't went through what I went through. All you want is some motherfucking money out of the situation. I want my motherfucking life and my freedom out of the situation. You see what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I'm saying this. I come and do my job and leave, homie. I ain't with what these other rappers with. I ain't with linking and kicking it and staying in the club and drinking and politicking and all that shit. I'm not with that shit, homie. I come to get the cash, please my fans, and leave. So, if you got opening acts and performances... Do that shit before I get to the club, man. Because when I come in the club, when I come in the venue, I come to do my show and I come to leave. I don't want no, y'all know my motto. I don't want no problem with no nigga. And don't nigga want no problem with me. You see what I'm saying? So... A lot, of this, this this conversation got a lot to do with that is Texas. It was a legend on a stage that night. It was one of Dallas, Texas legends on a stage that night. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't mean no disrespect. And I apologize. I'm a man. I'm a man time. I can apologize when I'm wrong. But everybody else got to be able to accept it and, and understand what they was wrong at also. When I come to your city, I come to work. I don't come to sit around and watch no opening. I ain't getting paid for that. I'm not getting paid for that. I just did five years in the feds, man. Every time I move my hand, I got to get my man. Every time, every time I move my hand, I got to get my man, man. I'm not doing nothing for the free 99. If I got to sit here and watch anybody perform, I ain't put it in my meat. Let me get that. Because guess what? I got paid to come do a show. I didn't get paid to come sit here and watch people perform. I respect it. And I get it and I understand. But what y'all got to understand is this. I got to just sit on Facebook. I am on federal probation, man. I got kids. I got responsibilities. I got people depending on me. I'm trying to come do this shit and get the fuck on. Y'all got to keep in mind that doing these shows is how I went to the feds. Doing this shit is how I went to the feds. I went to Little Rock, Arkansas. Motherfuckers was opening up. Soon as I got on the mic, shots ring out. So you got to understand that I'm traumatized, dog. I set my program up a certain way so I can live and be free. It was a legend in Dallas, Texas. 
that was dirty at night. I didn't know. Nobody informed me. And not just that. I had already told the people, have your stage clear, have your opening acts, do y'all thing. When I come in, I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to please my fans. I'm going to interact with my fans. I'm going to take a few pictures and I'm going to be out. Man, please respect the game, man. That's all I'm asking, man. I just did five years of my life. They made 15 years of my life that I've been gone away from my kids and away from freedom. All I'm doing is securing my life and my freedom. Don't feel some type of way about me, man, for taking care of my motherfucking motherfucker. Can't be doing shit for the free 99. I ain't these young nigga rappers, man. I ain't 23, 24, 25 years old, man. I'm 30 years old, man. I got three kids, man. I got niggas, man. I got motherfuckers that's dependent on me, motherfuckers that been here for me. I'm not what y'all used to. So quit handling me like that. I need you to help me help you. Help me help you, man. Quit playing me out of pocket. Like I'm Joan. I ain't Joan. And you niggas ain't sitting back dissecting the situation. You ain't sitting back saying, okay, this man just got... Listen, I swear to God, right? Check this out. Some real shit. I just had a promoter. Shout out to Miss Teresa. I gotta shout you out. I just had a promoter. She booked five shows at one time. Came clean with all the money. A fight broke out at the club. Niggas got the one for guns and shit. Get what she called and told me. These niggas up here acting a fool. But I care more about your freedom than what's going on. So don't even come. Meet me right here and come and get your back ends. And you can go on and go in for the night, baby. That's some real shit. That's some real motherfucking. But Miss Teresa, an older woman. And she care about my life and my freedom. You bitches care about money. That's the difference between the real and the fake. You separate the real from fake and you will see who remains. And y'all don't understand. That's what I got to offer. That's what I got to offer. I got to offer the real. See, a lot of these niggas in this shit strictly for the money. It ain't all about the money to me, home. I need my principles, my morals, my respect. I love Dallas, Texas. My number one streaming city. And I hate shit happened the way it happened. And it had to be right there or around that area or with the legend from Dallas, Texas. I hate that. But it happened like that. And I was I was mad. I was fire hot. Because my life is on the line, man. My life, my life. Then when I'm dead, guess what? Motherfucker gonna say R.I.P. for this two times and forget about me within 72 hours. Mm. Fuck. 
fuck out of here. The fuck out of here. You think I'm trying to be a motherfucking memory? Nah, nigga. This shit gonna last forever, and I'm gonna make sure it lasts forever, nigga. And nigga gonna respect this shit, nigga. Nigga gonna respect this shit, nigga. And like I said, I apologize to the ones who think that it was toward Dallas, Texas, because it wasn't. It was the circumstances. It was what was going on. You see what I'm saying? Y'all don't understand what was going on. The position that I was put in. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because get what? I'm going to go to war with God by mine. About them little ones. And about you bitches done been out here. Y'all been out here. Y'all been enjoying y'all freedom. Y'all been getting pussy. Y'all been getting ass. Y'all been doing the fuck y'all want to do. All y'all motherfucking life. I've been gone 15 years of my life. Five this time. And I'm trying to live my life and be free and do what I got to do to make sure I stay free. And here you niggas go feeling away because y'all don't know where I come from. Y'all ain't been where I come from. Y'all don't understand morals and principles. And y'all don't understand survival tactics. Y'all just want to go out and get full of the Casamigos and all this old shit and then lose your train of thought. I ain't going to lose mine. I'm going to check it. I'm going to fucking check it. Every time. So all I'm asking you at the end of the day, all I'm asking you at the end of the day is to have your shit in order. If you got opening acts, I respect it. But I cannot stand on the stage with your opening acts. I can't do it. I beat her. I'm coming. Let them open up, let them do their thing, let them shine for the crowd, let them do their thing. And then when I pull up, make sure the stage is clear. I don't need nobody around me because guess what? One thing I learned, sometimes it ain't always got to be you that'll get you fucked up. It'll be somebody around you that'll get you fucked up. So, to eliminate that, I don't need nobody on the stage when I'm performing, man. Don't do that. I already explained this to the promoters. All they trying to make extra money off the VIP and on the stage and shit is not going to work with me. I'm a different type of artist, man. These ain't been through what I've been through. What the fuck wrong with you niggas? Let me live, man. Let me be free, man. Let me enjoy my life and my freedom, man. And my kids, man. And my success. Don't put me in a situation for some fucking money. For two, three, four extra thousand dollars. Don't do me that. Because you trying to make some extra dollars. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm right here with y'all. I'm right here with y'all. But this shit going to another level. And it's time for me to transition to a whole nother demonstration. If I want to be successful, if I want to stay alive, I won't even move. Look what time it is. It's 12 48. I swear to God, the average rapper, guess where the average rapper is right now? In the club. Looking for something to wiggle in. I'm in the crib. I 
ain't on it. Me maneuvering and going to clubs and going to lounges and bars, and all, they increase the chances of something happening. Because you're going to have your dumb, you're going to have one of them dumb niggas who jump out there and think he can do this here. Do that there. And then, yeah. So forgive me if I'm just trying to secure my future, my life, and my freedom. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I ain't the young average rapper that y'all used to dealing with. And I need for every up and coming rapper to use me as an example. Because you can be in these shoes, man. I can't even move the way I want to. Y'all think I'm enjoying this shit when I really ain't. I come to the club, I do the shows, I do the videos. I take pictures, I do all this shit, then I come back home. You know why? Because I know one wrong move. I know the feds watching. They can't wait till I slip. They can't wait till I fuck up. They can't wait till I... Yeah, they ready to do me something. The next time I catch a charge, guess what? It's going to be 15 years or better Y'all ain't understanding it though. And guess how the Fed is rocking? 85%. I'm gonna do 13 and a half years. I got the move right. I got, I'm not your average rapper. I'm not one of these niggas. I'm just not. Y'all got to accept that if y'all fuck with me. I'm not. I'm just not. I've been doing this shit since I was 14 years old, man. Fuck with me, man. Fuck with me. This shit ain't faking. I ain't get no money and then become like this. I've been like this. Niggas know that before I went to jail. The ones who do know me. I've been like this here. And the only reason why I'm speaking on it this long is because I'm in my body about how that is feel. I came with the... Elliot Jersey with the Elliot hat and with I mean with the with the Cowboys hat and I did that strictly because that was my number one streaming city. I'm like I got to show Dallas some love. I'm coming Dallas Cowboys Jersey. And then niggas got to speaking on how I ain't know Ezekiel Elliott. Bitch, I don't watch sports. Fuck you, time out. I ain't never played a sport in my life. But the name familiar. It's familiar. I done heard of it. I know of it. So Dallas feel away because I ain't know who Ezekiel Elliott was. But then they don't even not know that me and their mind like this. We didn't gotta understand them. We yeah, like people not understand that I'm 30. I've been literally gone 15 years of my life. Dog. I went in when I was 14. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna explain this shit to y'all. The difference between me and the rap nigga. I went in when I was 14. I got out when I was 17. Excuse me. Went back when I was 18. Got out when I was 21. Went back when I was 22. Got out when I was 25. I mean 24. Went back at 25. Got out at 30. I 
a nigga like me, I'm talking about a hard body, hard boy. I ain't looking at no motherfucking sports in jail, nigga. Nigga, I got a shank in that bitch. I'm trying to worry about who the fuck hating on me because I'm selling more K2 than them and shit, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga? I ain't watching no motherfucking sports, nigga. I'm trying to make me some money so when I go home, I ain't got to depend on my mama or no bitch. Nigga, I'm trying to have me some money, nigga. What the fuck you talking about, nigga? I'm standing on business, nigga. I'm ducking the law, nigga, trying to go to the hole, nigga, so I can send my baby to something, nigga. You niggas on this internet shit playing. Like this shit a game, nigga. Man, leave me alone, man. Leave me alone, man. Niggas don't know what the fuck I got going on. Leave me the fuck alone. Man. Straight up. Can you hear? I'm shooting a rifle, get smacked like a deal. He, he tried to run and got hit in the ear. Went, went up a hundred, just trapping the kill. Ain't man, a man that I feel. The money keep calling, I'm loaded, can't heal. 400 shots, if you black and you heal. Heal, 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 heal. Bitch, bitch, don't get shot like a deal. Scratch the whole bridge, just split with my pills. Two pop, Metro Valley, caught one in the real. Nigga, quit capping and telling he feel. Cause signing yourself in your ad, little running by dope, we ain't so take a ad. Bitch, we don't scrap beef, you make it your cow. Bitch, Marine, one shot, one kill. I'm selling Jack, Jill. Move out the Zanus, get pot like a